Okay, so uh, I uh, used to pick from multiple books instead of just the Bible. Um, I'm going to do that once again. Um, so these are the books. There, uh, I got them from Project Gutenberg. Uh, St. Augustine's Meditations, the Bible. What's this? Oh, you know what that is? Never mind. It's for getting God to play chess. Anyway, this is the countries of the world. So I mixed, oh well, Darwin's Origin of Species, Emily Dickinson, Hamlet, Huck Finn, Paradise Lost, Pilgrim's Progress, Plato, Don Quixote, Swift, that's uh, Gulliver's Travels, the Talmud, U.S. Constitution, Walden Pond, uh, Wealth of Nations, I think, what's his name, Wordsworth, one and two, Connecticut Yankees, Mark Twain, Tale of Two Cities. Okay, so, um, let's go over, um, Okay, this is the account directory. There's uh, install, ts, and user. Um, if a file's not found, it searches the parent. So um, these are the defaults for all, all people's accounts. ts, I called my company Trivial Solutions. Um, if you know math, then you know what that is. Um, if you know differential equations, I checked your uh, biography, uh, Larry Page, and uh, you studied computer science. You know what eigenvectors are. Maybe you know what trivial solutions are. Anyway, uh, so uh, TS is uh, trivial solutions. This is the company files, company defaults, and then if you have an employee, he can make his own to override them. And if it's not found, it searches the company. And if that's not found, it searches the default for all users. Okay, so I was thinking of maybe making an account for Larry Page. Um, I don't know if you, if it's a company or organization. We don't make money. <laughs> uh, maybe we can. There, there's got to be a better name. Anyway, uh, so um, we want. Uh, everybody in our company uh oh that's going to cause a problem okay so in the archive directory this is where i put uh what well, in my but I, I keep my budget on here i don't share that with everybody and i don't share my archive um this has some interesting files by the way i did uh i did a chess program it has artificial intelligence not it's doesn't quite work it's it's really stupid. Anyway, um, I did uh, I started a debugger, um, but I, it, there's not enough screen real estate. Uh, let's see, I did Flappy Birds. Anyway, uh, one time I had Tetris, but I deleted it when I did a purge by accident or not by accident. Anyway, this is Asteroid sort of. You'll see that on some of the old distributions. You have to escort the ship. Um, and then missile command. Um, I don't want to rip it off. It's too much of a rip off to do it almost exact. I don't really want. They're 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 overkill. They don't really teach anything, and uh, they're kind of it's kind of sleazy being a rip off. Anyway, let's see. I started USB and uh, started. Anyway, so uh, long story short, we want to uh, pick from these files. Uh, we want to pick a passage from those files. Um, so uh, here's a, if you have a text file that you're importing from elsewhere, you have to convert the dollar signs. So in the miscellaneous directory, there's a uh, file called two doll docs. Normally, I put most commands in memory, but this one I left as a standalone. So what you do is you include it, and then you do two doll docs. Now this teaches uh, 
files find mask all my file programs you know how most operating systems has find first and find next for files well we use uh, files find and the mask is kind of tricky um, it's one directory and multiple um, file masks well, anyway, er, you can read the documentation anyway uh, long story short uh, in the trivial solutions directory I, I under Holy Spirit this this by the way ends up on the distribution in the in the I copy my file as an example there's a in the demo directory there's a um, in demo there's an account example and this has my files but not my personal files those are the company files anyway so uh, so this gets loaded as a DLL basically um, at boot time so um, and um, what we do is we have a keyboard plugin the the user keyboard plugins are uh, alt the alt key so I went ahead and added this as a uh, alt alt shift f7 um, so here's where it calls the function and it passes the, the files find mask is archive home archive text star first it um, it captures the, the current it captures the time of the timestamp of the last keyboard stroke which in this case when we hit F7 that's the time it uses shift F7 and um, I take 24 bits from the timestamp this is the last keyboard mouse event I clear out well I want fresh um, I don't want any leftover uh, entropy bits anyway so I want a fresh one and um, so this took me a while to to um, write this routine so um, we specified the length of the passage 512 characters okay so um, we do files find find mask you should get familiar with uh, F1 and then look up um, file utils uh, this covers all the flags you can make it recurse you can make it and if you have a it'll return a tree of files it has a feature where you can flatten the tree you, you can flatten the tree and get rid of directories and just have files you can put it in cluster order to speed it up you can limit to just text just source or whatever um, so I went ahead and uh, I recursed limited it to just files that has the effect of flattening and then we want just text files so um, you can't it has some standard uh, extension um, stuff anyway so uh, we uh, we get basically we end up with a linked list of directory entries in the directory entries this is the part that's here's the linked list next parent sub those are filled in full name it will uh, fetch the full name this is really nice um, so this is an allocated a malloc string containing the full name absolute path attribute name that's the that's the the short name not the path name um, cluster size um, now all of my uh, a lot of my structures have something called a user data and what that is is uh, that's for you to do what you want with it's kind of uh, not managed in other words if you make two applications and one, both try and use user data you're gonna have problems but um, but you know what you're doing anyway so what I went ahead and did is uh, 
I went I made one pass through the list of files and I uh, set user data to uh, the string length of the f I read the whole file and I set it to the string length now my if you have a file with graphics then there's a terminating zero after the text and then the binary graphics so this will work even if it's graphics we get a string length or the test the ASCII text area at the beginning and uh, so um, I told you you have to run that doll docs to convert dollar signs <clears throat> if you don't uh, if you use a unconverted the dollar sign will cause problems anyway so uh, if the length is greater than or equal to 512 that's what our length is um, anyway so so I went ahead and uh, I read the whole file and then freed it this is kind of how we how we how we roll we don't read partials oh we can't get the length because it's uh, in um, compressed if we got the com if we got the length from the directory it would be compressed and we it wouldn't be accurate also if we expanded it it wouldn't be accurate because it might have binary data what we have to do is measure it with string length so we 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 go once through it and set all the lengths then we call god bits to to get a timer to get 24 bits of god entropy and multiply by the total and divide shift 24 bits then we start over at the beginning of the file list and uh if we go negative it means it's in that file and uh we print the passage and then at the end we delete the from the head of the list so uh and it had now um the editor is active everywhere by the way if you want to open up some lines control shift enter will uh that'll do some if you hit enter the other way you get that control shift enter does that now we're going to ask god to talk so we say the key is alt shift f7 oh we got the bible that sucks we got to do it again half thereof for the people had a mind to work but it came to pass that when sanballat and tobiah and the arabians and the M Ammonites and Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to stop them. Then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and fight against Jerusalem to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. Well, you can take my word for it. it uh, stupid God, why did you pick from the Bible? There's one where they uh, they said, why didn't he ask us for help? I don't know what this is. So we're kind of working on the walls, I guess. Um, I'll try it one more time. Alt-Shift-F7. Oh, fuck. Don't read it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh, well, good enough. <laughs>